Greetings everyone, and great here with another Relo 3 replay. Spawn on the bottom right or right side as the blue Soviet player. We have I am Siberian on the left side on on the Magenta Empire player. We have Jeromo. Do of course actually he has a flag trooper going up north. Maybe it was an early garrison to there to prevent any sort of a... Uh... I'm not sure why he's sending a flagship up north. He must have some sort of plan. Maybe what's a uh, flagship over here for a some mag mines in case of the dojo. That's probably it. Refinery Corps. Third Refinery Corps is being deployed now. Looks like he's not... Well, he is going for a pair of dojos up north. He's going to have one for crushes, one for this uh, deployment of the oil derrick. The bear is coming on forward. Getting will spot these uh, the the dojo core and the go dojo core. And he will spot this refinery core. He does not stop get up there in time to prevent any uh, building uh, deployment. But he will spot this refinery. So now he has an idea that his opponent's gone for an economic play. We got a single sentry gun being deployed on there. Depending on the angle, the Mega Tankers could skirt around the far side, prevent it from actually uh, gunning down anything. We got another instant generator being deployed on out, as well as a Defender Core. Is Defender Core going up north? We got this bear up here, which will block the wall segments, at least on that side. Dojo Core does spot the Terra Drone at least. He could try force firing this Dojo Core, killing off the Terra Drone while at it, but doing that with an Imperial Warrior is very unlikely. I stand corrected. I suppose I wasn't exactly incorrect, but very, very good patience and timing. Multiple garrisons being claimed up by these Picard scripts. You can claim up the hospital as well. The bear being unbearable. Flak trooper being deployed now. And with that opening there, he's able to get some mag mines onto the ore refinery. But he's going for an angle where he could potentially get the gunning uh gun it down. But there we go. Now he's gonna push on forward. He's gonna try to get the uh War Collector, he does get one Magmine there, getting significant amount of damage. And he may... Nope. Very nice. He does throw the Terra Drone away. And could potentially hop back inside. Nope. Does get snared. Over here, we've got the Imperial Warrior. Mutual trade there, which is in favor of the Soviet player, because Imperial Warriors are more expensive than Conscripts. What did I just hear? I heard a mm, sound. I'm not sure from what though. Nice snare there. The point out wall segments to prevent the uh, being snared any further. And now onto the other side. If your warrior does get the kill there though. Does get the trades, but it wasn't a full D garrison. This garrison could hold what eight uh, garrisons. We do have this mecha tank being snared once again. Garrison's fully de garrison. And now here comes a hammer tank and a very wounded bullfrog. No leech beam there, so no extra gun. The extra gun could be quite handy because having an infantry gun on a hammer tank 
help them gauge infantry could be quite nice. Plus, it can always pitch in more damage against anything. Conscripts do get paired dropped in there, and they were good at sing, but that's about it. We got this MCV being deployed. He has not committed the, order, the armor there on the ore collector. Does get a nice snare there, keeping it uh, tight down. Takes out the MIG there, very nice, and does got does get a double infect there on the striker VXs. Trying to suicide in. And ooh, good kills there by the Tank Buster. This is actually uh, Pure Warrior and Tank Buster there. Let's put on the health bars so we can see a bit better them. Though he does find the Twin Blades. Good infantry advancement coming forward by the Imperial Warrior. He does have a Terror Drone here, but the Imperial Warriors can gun down that uh, Terror Drone. Twin Blades, however, can easily gun down these Imperial Warriors. Try and charge on in, try and get in one of these garrisons. There are Tsunami Peaks here. We got the pair of Striker VXs can now push away forward. Does get one missile off, and we got the point defense drone being deployed. Does get infect there, very nice. Hammer tanks are in here for defense, but there's four Tsunami tanks, some Pro Warriors, and two uh, Striker VXs. He may want to start focusing down the Striker VX. Does get the kill there on the Terror Drone as well. I saw the head there, I think it may have got wiped. Or not wiped. Six hammer takes there. Does get the infect there, but can be focused down. And the Terror Drone does go down. Barracks being deployed on the front line. Maybe it's just supposed to be a, a shot blocker. There are some extra guns on some of these hammer tanks. Now it's going to be charging on forward, trying to crush those uh, Imperial Warriors. Starting to focus on those uh, hammer tanks as well. Starting to siphon down some of those guys. Now it's charging forward once more. Kills off another Tsunami tank. This uh, hammer tank is quite wounded, but getting some health uh, siphoning. Leech beam health. Up north, we do got a Yari Mini sub engaged in the MCV. Tried to go for this expansion here, but was unsuccessful. Empire players trying to push up north. Hammer takes are here to respond. They're all pretty healthy. And does get a nice snare there, giving some extra health for the big fight. Those like Imperial Warriors do get inside the garrison. He does have one conscript here. He may want to de-garrison it to get, throw some Molotovs. There may be two uh, conscripts in there. Just the one, though. They switch over to the Molotov there and start cleaning it out. Do have a roar. Does going to get one of the Imperial Warriors. Extra guns. There's a number of extra guns on these uh, hammer tanks. One, two, double uh, tsunami tank cannons, actually. Does get a snare right there. Nam deflectors are not being very useful. And does get a kill there on all the tsunami tanks, just leaving infantry. There's at least three upgunned uh, hammer tanks. Yep, looks like there's three upgunned hammer tanks. Instead of the map, there's still a number of garrisons claimed by the Empire. And we've got some Spudnik coming on in. The satellite, not the Spudnik unit. Chopper VX is going to try to land to engage those twin blades. That ore refiner is so wounded, but the, I'm not sure where this ore collector came from. That may have been a spare from somewhere. And we've got Yuriko, the daughter of Yuri, now being deployed on out. So 
so I'm pushing this way forward. Will we see some rocket angels? Probably not. It was a really stupid idea, I just all of a sudden thought, because usually, because your tier 3 does allow access to rocket angels, but they're just not that good. We've got a pair of wave force artillery. This wave force artillery could be quite deadly. If targets guys in the back, he can cause a stream of death. He's trying to siphon off some uh, health from of his own barracks. And he does take out that terror drone there with Yuriko. Yuriko is still quite uh, healthy. Nothing's being targeting Yuriko. So she's going to be able to juggle a bunch of these hammer takes along to get gunned down easily. But here comes the Twin Blades trying to cut down Yuriko. Yuriko does go down. We do have some striker the access, but that one is infected by a a uh, terror drone. These uh, wave force artillerys are still alive. One of them does go down. Trying to charge up shot does get hit there on the war factory. All the wave force artillerys goes down, and one of the wounded moon blades is now fully arrived, so I'll have some good health regen. If she's been cleaned up, Tsunami Tink is elite, but there is a hammer tank here as well as the twin blades, of course. So that salt has been quashed. So it's three, tier three. He's either low in income or he's going for another Yuriko. These refineries do have plenty of income. He still has his own oil derrick. This one has been destroyed. Of course, there's no archer maidens to deal with the helicopters. Because it's not an uh, uprising. I find it weird that uprising had no multiplayer. Why do the uprising not have multiplayer? Sure, people say some units are imbalanced, but just give a bit of time, they can be balanced. Such as like putting Harbinger gunships be take uh, airfield slots, I would say is one way to balance them. And the Giga Fortress, I'm not so sure. It's really hard for me to tell how to balance some stuff when you just simply can't see multiplayer matches how to balance them. We got some satellites come out. He spots that's he knows that's a tier three uh, barracks, and that does not get Yuriko out. Picks out the ore collector there. Going out some walls, trying to avoid the terror drones, but there's no ore collector remaining on it. Does kill, to kill that terror drone that was infecting on some of these units. There's another one here, and now we do have the king owning now getting repaired on up. Needs a lot of repairs. This one does get cleaned on up, and the ore refiner will likely be cleaned up as well. This one still harvests away, has 14,000 left. This one has 12,000, so he has recovered more ore from it. Emperor's Rage has been deployed. He sells off his uh, uh, MCV. Plus, he's trying to go all in on something. Sudden transport throws the engineer into it. He will potentially see the sold off MCV, but the engineer he does not know has got inside a sudden transport. Striker BX does manage to escape on out of there. He won't be able to base race, there's too much force here. But if the engineer does get a uh, capture on something, that means he will not will prolong the base race because he has to be on the other side of the map. He needs something to take out these uh, terror drones. Perhaps setting up the uh, the uh, instant generator, the gun for Imperial War to gun down these terror drones could be useful. There we go. He's doing that now with that uh, refinery. It does not do much with that uh, terror drone. We do got Natasha out on the field. Sudden transport, he mainly guns it down. He knew about it. It's pretty fast for a war as well. He's trying to body block as much. He knows there's a... Yep, he had a good idea that where that engineer went. And that's game. That's Angry saying thank you for watching.